when we talk about peptides, um, one of the other, you know, the, the principles is you want to get peptides from the right source. Um, you know, the most current data shows that four out of five peptides are purchased on, you know, kind of on the, the black market. So, so peptides, you can purchase them for research use and some companies are better than others, but the absolute uh, best safest way that you, you want to go about getting peptides is from compounding pharmacies and at Go Wellness, we've got relationships with some of the, the world's leading compounding pharmacies. 99% of pharmacies cannot make these peptides. They don't have the raw material. They don't have the expertise. And so it's not like you can just go to your local pharmacist and say, hey, can you make us some epitalin? And they'll be like, we don't, well, first of all, we don't even know what that is. And then we got to get the raw material. And, and so um, utilizing, uh, you know, go wellness doctors and uh, utilizing the pharmacies that we vetted out is your safest way to get the right uh, peptide excretion. It's no different than going to GNC. You used that analogy earlier, Dan, and getting at, you know, buying all the vitamins, you know, having your smartphone there and saying, okay, I want to be, you know, uh, have better hair and I want to lose all my belly fat and whatever. And then you just plug in and Google gives you 10 supplements and you buy those and take them. Well, they may do more harm than good. It's, it's no different than with peptides, except what we've tested is a lot of the, the agents that people get from some of these you know, um, off-label research use, animal use only peptides is the, the fact that they're not even getting what was promised and they're very expensive even when they're purchased from some of these rogue websites. So you need to have a prescription when you get these peptides. Anything you want to add to that, Dan? Or do I sound like I'm complaining? No, I mean, you just, you know, if you're going to put something in, you you want it to be proper. I mean, it is a signaling molecule and you know, you want to make sure when you're getting the, the right signal, you know, I'm, I, you know, and, and thinking of it on the opposite side is like misfolded proteins are peptides a lot of times and they create their own signaling. It's like, if you're going to put some in your body, know that it's the right thing and, you know, you get it from a reputable source. Right. So epitalin is really powerful. Uh, what you'll get is a promotion of deeper sleep. Uh, delay and prevention of age-related diseases such as cancer, heart disease, and dementia. We'll jump into these. And then, um, Dan, you're going to love this because it does work as an antioxidant and it reduces reactive oxygen species. Nice. And, and also it in increases uh, glutathione and superoxide dismutase. It's just a great way of harmonizing your nervous system, your gut, and your immune system. And then deactivating that fight or flight response in the brain so that your body can start to heal. And how many of you, as you age, you need more and more sleep? You know, um, that's a common component where, you know, we have patients who need 10 hours a day, 10 hours a night of sleep so that they can function. But that's kind of an, uh, you know, it's, an, it's too much sleep. And so, like Dan was saying earlier, by being on peptides, he's like, I can get less sleep and I wake up feeling refreshed. We've been hosting these ketamine, peak state ketamine retreats. And so we, you know, one of the things that, that we're going to start doing with those is, is have epitalin injections before the ketamine and then induce a better pineal function with the ketamine. And, and then if you're, you know, uh, obviously if you're uh, in places where like psilocybin's legal, um, compounding that with epitalin can be very helpful um, if you're looking to break into the subconscious mind, but even using epitalin alone um, seems to reset that, that spiritual component. And from a Chinese medical perspective, uh, your body, actually your Shen gets uh, rejuvenated when we sleep. Here's another one on the immune and detoxification pathways. It doesn't get talked about a lot, but, um, you know, in removing interferences, which is one of the most important things that we do right out of the gates. And step one, we call it the reset. And so epitalin, not only does it reset the interferon or the T cells by using interfering gamma, but the other thing it does is it helps reset the body by removing interferences. And so it does that by activating superoxide dismutase, which I know you're a big fan of. Maybe you could explain um, some of the functions of that or even glutathione for the, the people on. 
Yeah, so superoxide is is it's one of the reactive oxygen species that's produced in the mitochondrial cell cycle or mitochondrial inter- energy production in the electron transport chain. And it's one of the big reasons why any drop in antioxidant status results in mitochondrial damage or uncoupling. And superoxide dismutase is what inhibits and neutralizes that reactive oxygen species specifically. So, you know, it's, it's super important um, and we have to make it. If we don't have it, it's a, it's a problem. Glutathione also um, supports that process. It is still the master antioxidant in the body. So it binds to all these free radicals. And what's interesting, you know, and especially with this, knowing that usually in any barrier in the body, pulmonary barrier, nasal pharyngeal barrier, blood brain barrier, and gut barrier, before you typically see the barrier become leaky, the research has identified that first you have to decrease and deplete the local glutathione supply um, before the barriers become leaky. So, you know, you're affecting so many different mechanisms by driving that glutathione production. So Dan, if you had to think of your favorite um, hacks for sleep and and what you encourage uh, people to do to get great sleep um, so that Epitalin even works better, what, what are some of the things that you recommend? Well, you know, I was sitting here thinking about because I had I've not used epitalin. I actually didn't know, you know, I I I only had a chance to read some of the research that that we've included here, but I didn't know about the insulin sensitivity and the the lipid metabolism pathway. You know, that's that's massive because it's the biggest issue with sleep is um, unstable blood sugar, and. Having that regulation, I mean, that is massive. Like that's, I was just thinking about all, that's what I was sitting here thinking about was like the implications of that and adding that in. Cause usually um, one of the biggest hacks for sleep is going to be keeping stable energy, you know, and it's, it's actually, actually one of the hacks that I'd learned from years ago is uh, like an avocado. Yeah. Bed, you know, and then also temperature regulation. Um, those are like the big things that go after, but you know, the, the response from epitalin and what it's doing with, uh, the circadian rhythm, the deeper sleep mechanisms, the blood sugar, the gosh, the free radical production. Um, this might be my biggest takeaway for the day. So I, I, I love that, but the other piece, um, restoring that melatonin pathway, because, you know, that's, um, changing people's sleep time, just trying to get them on a consistent basis, yeah. uh, you know, nailing their diet, making sure their diet, because it's, I, I, the, the biggest pieces uh, in general um, outside of that small hack is timing their meals and their waking and going to bed times uh, and just creating an, an actual rhythm for that. So those are, those are the big ones. And it, this seems to affect every aspect of that. Yeah, so, so powerful. And then Diane asked, what do avocados do? Well, you know, primarily you get uh, really good fats, which can stabilize the blood sugar. And then there's tryptophan, a uh, lot of potassium, and a lot of tryptophan, which relaxes the central nervous system. And, and then, you know, Dan, to, uh, to your point on blood sugar destabilization being a massive reason why people are waking up frequently to urinate or, you know, they just get, they wake up hungry or, you know, their, their biological rhythms are, are offset. Um, the thing I love about epitalin is, is it, it, it shuts off that kind of sympathetic nervous system, that fight or flight that's always on. And so uh, it's called gluconeogenesis when our bodies are in this fight or flight mode and, and our livers are just pushing out sugar. Even if you don't eat sugar, you can still have blood sugar dysregulation. And so we just go upstream and use epitalin to reset that cycle so that your body can actually start to, to breathe again and heal. So, um, so powerful peptide. Um, phenomenal. I mean, there's, there's so many cool things, you know, it's anti-cancer properties. Um, they're starting to use up in different, uh, functionalities and some of the longevity stacks, you know, using this with NAD can be really helpful. Um, and then one of the research, uh, articles that I've included is where they, 
they used epitalon on monkeys. And so um, I was in Costa Rica about a month ago and those monkeys are so dang cool. And so there's elderly monkeys who, you know, their, their circadian rhythms and their melatonin production was just, you know, minimized because of aging and uh, epitalon actually helped the monkey sleep better. So uh, I think one of our mission projects, Dan, might be to go and, you know, not only help fruit flies with this, uh, but we can also help the monkeys who aren't sleeping well. Hey, you know what? That sounds like a good life. <laughs> yes. Fruit flies and monkeys. <laughs> All right. Well, well, this has been fascinating. Hey, everybody, Reagan Archibald here. I hope you enjoyed the Go Wellness Show and maybe learned a couple things you could apply to your practice. If you're a healthcare entrepreneur who wants to work in an academic think tank with like-minded humans who are just like you, looking to provide better service, better quality of care for your patients, reach us at info at gowellness.com and we're happy to do a free practice analysis for you.